hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, in this video I would show you uh, how to design uh, different types of filter circuits using this uh, interactive app that is known as filter pro app basically this filter pro app is the um, app, app available from the Texas instruments design resources as you can see here in the Texas Instruments website, Design Resources, they have various types of tools. So in this filter design section, they have filter design tool. You can download it from their website and use in to help design the filter circuit. Uh, this is basically version number 3.1 and maybe for uh, latest updates are available uh, on their website so now let's begin designing the filter circuit as you can see that there are different types of uh, options available like low pass high pass band pass band stop and all pass filter as we all know that low pass filter are is the filter that is used to uh, pass the all the signals that are below the cutoff frequency the cutoff frequency is, is a specific frequency below which the signals are allowed to pass and above which the, the signals would uh, decay decay or diminish away at the output so this is the pass band as you can see carefully that this is the pass band with some ripples Actually, this uh, pass band ripple is not flat and ideally this is flat but in practical this is not flat and this filter uh, design app take care of this. So let's begin with the low pass filter design. Next. Now here uh, we can input the gain of the filter actually. So most of uh, mostly the filter gain is taken to be equal to one by default. This means that the input signal and output signals are both um, equal in amplitude. Okay, so one volt per volt gain is actually equal to zero dB gain. Now let's let us change the cutoff frequency that is pass band frequency. Let's say it is 2 kilohertz, 2000 hertz. And we set the allowable ripple, allowable pass band ripple to be 1 dB. Let's keep this as it is. And stop band frequency, stop band frequency FS. This frequency. You can see my cursor here. This frequency, stop band frequency. when you click in this tab this fs becomes bold as you can see fs so we are going to set this fs stop band frequency to be <coughs> let's say it is 3000 hertz and attenuation stop band attenuation to be minus 45 now in this case if we set the attenuation to be minus 45 db this means that the slope that the slope of this uh, uh, frequency response is much steeper that is the uh, that is the pass band and stop band diversion this uh, this decay signal decay is much steeper so this would automatically increase the filter order maybe it can be 3 order 3 or order 4 just to tell you what is the order of the filter the order of the filter is actually the number of filters cascaded with each other in order to get the steeper slope so the second order filter is much easier to implement in practical circuit and third order is uh, much is uh, something difficult a bit difficult and fourth order is also a bit more difficult this is because this uh, fourth order filter 
needs more components more circuitry and more traces to connect with each other to create a circuit in uh, with respect to the second order filter which has fewer components but the response is not much steep so let's fix let here is the option set fixed let us fix the filter order to be equal to 2 in this way we cannot adjust the attenuation stop band attenuation the stop band attenuation would be calculated automatically by this application and the stop band frequency is also calculated by this application for the second order filter if we uncheck this then the order then the order of the filter would be calculated by this app automatically maybe it can be third order fourth order fifth order but you can set the stop band frequency and stop band attenuation so it depends upon you either you want to set the fix set the fixed order to let's say 2 or 3 or 4 I would set it to 2 second order filter and I would not uh, set this stop band frequency and stop band attenuation so so let's see what happens next click next here as you can see <coughs> the uh, order is 2 as you can see all of the options available here are with second order now in the response tab as we know that there are uh, four different types of responses that is basil, butterworth, chief by chief and linear phase so I would select the butterworth because butterworth is a maximally flat response and um, in the previous video in which I designed the filter circuit using the LT spice uh, simulation software I used the butterworth configuration with the butter with butterworth configuration the maximum quality factor Q is equals to 0 0.71 okay and the number of stages would be equal to one okay so we select butterworth uh, response type and uh, gain plot plot would be in gain db this is the type of plot that you are going to see as you can see the response is not much steep okay now click next okay now here is the circuit topology the circuit topology is of three types in this uh, filter pro section filter pro this app provides you with the multi multiple feedback single ended and number two silent key this type is silent key configuration and this is the multiple feedback with fully differential so we are not concerned with the fully differential we are concerned with the single ended signal input so, so for signal and single input we can select silent key or multiple feedback I would go with the multiple feedback single ended circuit configuration topology or filter ok so as you can see here there are only 1, 2, 3 resistors and 2 capacitors whereas in silent key you have four resistors and two capacitors okay so multiple feedback seems to be a little bit easier to implement now let's click finish and and by the way that is the last step as soon as i click finish the application would automatically calculate the values of these resistors and the values of these capacitors for the cutoff frequency and the attenuation we set for the filter that we desire here as you can see this uh, resistor values and capacitor values are calculated by this application and this is the frequency response this is the frequency response also showing the phase response in red color this in red color is a phase response and this blue is the frequency response gain gain response and on the right it shows the group delay group delay response okay guys so <clears throat> we can see the cutoff 
our cutoff was uh, um, 2 kilohertz all right so here as you can see here is the 2 kilohertz as you see my cursor 2.034 into 10 raised to the power 3 that means 2 kilohertz frequency and the gain is minus 5.15 dB so at this point at this point on the left side all the signal are passing through the filter output whereas after 2 kilohertz the signal is gradually falling down signal uh, amplitude is gradually falling down as you can see at uh, at uh, ten kilohertz, let's say ten kilohertz, the signal is minus twenty eight point seven dB. So this signal is uh, not a signal at all. So this would be greatly attenuated. And higher in the frequency as you go, the uh, the more the signal is degraded that is it is blocked it is filtered by the filter circuit low pass filter circuit okay so you can tweak these component resistor values select by selecting the resistor tolerances as we know that in DG key and Mauser the resistors and capacitors are available with different types of tolerances so let's say we select 5% tolerance so then you will see that the resistor values would change a little bit see with 5% resistance tolerance the resistor values are converted to 5.6 kilo ohm R1 and R2 and R3 is 2.7 kilo ohm whereas C2 becomes 40 nanofarad and C1 becomes 10 nanofarad okay same we can do with the capacitors now here uh, in the data column this um, filter pro app is basically a very strong app and it shows you all the data points on various frequencies 10 hertz 10.116 hertz very large data set it has and it shows you the gain values on each and every frequency point as well as the phase in degrees and phase in radians also though is it can also show you group delay at any point at any point let's say at 30 hertz the group delay is 110.024 microsecond and phase in radians is 3.121 radians okay so this is a very good uh, app i found on texas instruments website and it is a very handy tool it can save you a lot of time in manually calculating the cutoff frequencies quality factor of the filter using the standard filter equations as we all know about so you just have to input the uh, order of the filter and the cutoff frequency and at inertia and that's it and uh, select the topology whichever you like as per your application needs and the filter pro will design you the circuit can and calculate resistant capacitor values automatically by itself this is the bomb it also calculates the bomb and comments if any design reports this is the design report so i hope you like that video in the new design we can also uh, select high pass the same procedure is for the high pass and same for the band pass high pass filters are as you all know that passes the frequencies above the cutoff frequencies and blocks all the frequencies below falling below the cutoff frequencies so this uh, tool is a very handy tool and i found it very useful i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, leave please leave any comments in the comment section if you have and give thumbs up to my videos i'm trying to create more new content 
and i am doing my best as much as i can so uh, looking forward for your cooperation and bringing you a nice content in future as well thank you so much